Hey guys, I hope you are doing good. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what is computational architecture or digital architecture. A lot of people have been asking me about computational architecture or masters in computational architecture. So here I am making this video for all of you, and I'll be talking about what is the a career perspective after doing this course. What will be the average pay for you? Is this course a future-proof course? Is this even beneficial for us right now? So all these. things i'll be covering in this video so try watching this video till the end this video will be a really informative and really insightful video for all the architecture students who are wanting to do this course so without any delays let's get started with the video guys So guys let's start with what is computational architecture actually computational architecture or digital architecture comprises of a lot of things that comes within architecture umbrella but they are all digital based or programming or algorithm based so this is something that you should keep in mind like if you are a person who is interested into softwares who doesn't mind working on software for hours or days or months I think this course is for you. So what is computational architecture? So a uh, first thing that we'll be learning in computational architecture is the theory of design or theory of advanced techniques that you will be using to incorporate computational programming and develop structure based on computational programming so there will be a lot of parametric modeling that will be learning there will be a lot of algorithmic processes that you will be learning so what are algorithmic process so you create algorithms or you generate a programming or a coding script that will be progressive and that will generate a certain kind of output based on the data that you input into it so a lot of softwares they uh usually do it like grasshopper or there is even dynamo that we use in revit so you generate a script and that script actually uh functions based on what commands you put in uh, so your structure can take different forms based on the inputs that you will be putting it uh putting in so that is something that we'll be learning you will be learning about computational calculations so right now nowadays there is ai and i'm damn sure like youtube is full of ai things like you know ai can do this ai can do that and all those things but you will be learning what goes behind making that ai work and you will be learning how programming works so you will understand how to use ai or how to use computational programming to calculate certain aspects like you can actually predict how that space will be used how that space or the uh, area will be utilized by the public over there you will learn how to calculate the public traffic even before constructing the structure itself so you will know like you know how to optimize a space to the at most performance so you will be learning that you will be learning how the envelope performs you will learn how to uh develop a method like the building performs at its best you will learn how to develop a building form that stands best in certain kind of atmosphere or certain kind of population or a terrain so all these things you will be learning you will be learning a lot about coding you will be learning how to code basic scripts to the advanced scripts so if you are someone who likes computers softwares programming coding or want to know what is coding and programming then definitely this course is for you there is one more thing that is very important about this course that is you will be learning about the robotics and architecture so you might have heard about the mechanical facades nowadays like all over the world people are using mechanical facades that change their shapes change their angles based on the sun uh, sunlight and sun shading and all those things so this is something that is very interesting about computational architecture or digital architecture it is kind of similar to bim but bim is more of architecture based than the computational architecture itself like bim is working bim is being used in the industry bim is a collaborative platform that brings all the data in a singular format or in a singular structure but computational architecture is something that goes beyond bim and you won't be learning about bim but you will be learning how these things can be created in a different form 
you will be coding things so this is something that i wanted to share with you all and now coming to the process after completing your computational architecture or digital architecture so the average salary in us and canada for the people who have done computational architecture is around $70,000 a year and it can go up to $100,000 a year based on the company and based on your prior experience in this field. So guys, coming to the next point in which I will be talking about the market demand. Right now, the market demand is not that high for computational architecture. Like there is a very uh, small group of firms that are using computational architecture in daily life and in their architecture forms and design development. So getting a job, getting your first job to be specific, getting your first job would be a difficult process for you. But once you get a job, there is no stopping you you are kind of future proof you are future ready after doing this course so one thing that i would like to alert you for is be careful it might take you a long time to probably find your first job or find find an appropriate job that will utilize all these skills that you have learned but in future, you guys will be ruling the architectural industry who knows how to program things, who knows how to do parametric architecture, who know how to do coding. So that is something that I wanted to share with you all. And my final verdict is definitely guys, if you are interested into this, if you are a person who loves software, who loves hardware, who loves programming, then definitely go for computational or digital architecture. Both both of the field are similar and they are really good and if you want an alternate you can definitely go and check out BIM also I have made a lot of videos about BIM so go and check out that too and guys if you like this video go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel I need your support if you support me I will keep making such amazing videos and I will keep helping and supporting you too so Try supporting me, share my videos and guys take care of yourself. See you soon. Bye-bye.